Blitz turns seven this year, which is quite a feat for a mobile game, let's not deny it. And that got me thinking, what is it about this game? Well, as a YouTuber and an official CC, apparently my opinion is totally biased. Yeah, of course. But what exactly is Blitz? Guns. Lots of guns. Well, yeah, I suppose it is about guns and lots of guns. But in a word, it's actually a game. And its sole purpose, if you play the darn thing, is actually to have fun. Are you serious? I know, crazy. Or, if you happen to be wargaming, to make a bit of money off people having fun. Thing is, when I watch most YouTube videos on this game, or when I'm even playing the game, it seems that the idea is to... Rage. Rage. Which clearly can't be right. Now, don't get me wrong, we all rage. You're goddamn right! Which is perfectly normal and a natural reaction, especially when you're losing. I mean, the only the other day I was watching my 10-year-old playing Fortnite, and it seems that game also creates massive amounts of rage, even if you're winning. But he's a 10-year-old, and he's not really capable of true rational thought. Trust me on this. So what is it that actually prevents us from actually enjoying the game and having some fun? Because there's got to be something. Well, it can't be the game. I mean, the game is just a load of pixelated tonks that you, the individual, control in a vain attempt to blow stuff up. So surely the issue lies and rests solely with the person behind the controls. <laughs> Crazy. But it doesn't work that way because we all seek to find the blame elsewhere. MM, RNG, Ping, other players, or whatever else happens to be not us. <laughs> but is that really the truth? You can't handle the truth! Well, of course it isn't. The problem lies solely upon our shoulders. It rests with us. Solely and utterly the players. Yes, MM can seem to be against you. Yes, RNGs may not be shining down upon you. But at the end of the day, only you, the player, controls the tank. And it may surprise you to learn that maybe, just maybe, we aren't as good as we think we are. Man's got to know his limitations. But does that mean we can't enjoy Blitz for what it actually is? Just a game? Now, for example, I'm not a person who likes so-called chick flicks. But even on certain occasions, I can enjoy such movies for what they are. Just entertainment. And Blitz is no different unless we, or the players, decide it to be so. But what is it that drives us so totally to raging and being toxic? Well, I think it's the hype, surrounded by getting a light blue win rate and doing high damage, plus a little drama thrown in by YTers for good measure. Of course. But I'll come back to that. Does it really need to be that way, though? I mean, as a game, Blitz is something enjoyable. But Fujit, I hear you say, you mediocre player and YouTuber, it's a violent game, and violence therefore begets more violence. But is it violent? Okay, you go around blasting other tanks out of existence, but it's not like you're seeing blood, guts, and limbs thrown everywhere. Just pieces of metal. And I don't care who you are, deep down, you get a feeling of satisfaction from blasting other tanks back to the garage. <laughs> but I see some truth in the fact that the violence brings a type of rage forward in what we are as basic people. I see it with my 10 year old who's generally not a violent person, who generally doesn't go around being angry but when he plays Fortnite, the game he loves, he is a completely different person. 
hysterical, raging all the time, and quite toxic. For hate's sake, I spit my last breath at thee. Now it's easy to point fingers at the game and say, well, it's violent, therefore it's going to bring out that primordial animal instinct in you and make you slightly toxic and rageful. But I don't think it's just that. No, 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 no. So what else can it be? Well, influences. Yeah. Because unless we're all sat here saying that we are, by our very nature, angry, toxic, rageful people that fly off the handle at the slightest thing, when you're meant to be having some fun and enjoyment, then it's got to be something else. We've got to be influenced. And this is where I think YouTube and YouTubers play an important role. Because sometimes, just sometimes, I think we are far too negative. Why don't you knock it off with them negative waves? And the reason for that is because drama and negativity sells views. And the YouTubers need the views. It's as simple as that. So I see a lot of drama videos, a lot of negative videos, whereby YouTubers are sowing a kind of discontent within the game. Well, the community rather than the game. Which is fantastic for the person who owns that YouTube channel. Not so great if then you take that negativity into the game. We need to be more positive. We need to enjoy the game for what it actually is. A game, just a bit of fun, just a bit of entertainment. Hear you nothing that I say. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm fully aware that I'm probably going to get quite a bit of a backlash from A, the community, and B, the YouTubers, who, by the way, I'm not going to mention any names, because I think we're all tarred with a similar brush to an extent. But I'm going to get some backlash. I get that, I understand that, and I'm ready for that. You don't scare me! Work on it! But with Blitz turning seven, this is a time for celebration. It's a time to have some fun and just try to chill out. Why don't you dig how beautiful it is out here? Why don't you say something righteous and hopeful for a change? And really, we should all be like Oddball from Kelly's Heroes. We should be righteous, we should be hopeful, and we should be enjoying the game for what it is. That's it, guys. It's just a game. Play the game. Everybody play the game. And the sooner we realize that, the better it will be. Believe me. Are you serious? So, take a chill pill. Log on to the game for the seventh birthday. Get yourself into Uprising. And just enjoy it for what it is. A stupid, fun game mode. Lie back. It doesn't matter if you die. It doesn't matter if you win. It doesn't matter if you lose. None of it matters. And take a leaf out of Oddball from Kelly's Heroes. Book. I only write them. I don't know what makes them work. Can you? Get away from your infatuation with chasing that little blue win rate or that massive damage. Learn the game, and play the game, and enjoy the game. And believe me, you'll start to see the game in a different light. And you didn't disappoint. And freed from your encumbrances, you will actually, maybe, potentially, start to have a little bit of fun. Which is the entire purpose behind the game. Fun. It's entertainment, nothing more. Cool. Very cool. And with that, I've said enough. Seriously, guys. It's a game.
enjoy it for what it is. And the moment you start enjoying it for what it is, you will have so much fun. Seriously, you really, really will. Obviously, the rage is still going to be there. Of course. But try to see past the negativity and get to the positivity. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been the thoughts from my noggin for today. By all means, comment and everything below. But remember, have a little faith, baby. Have a little faith. And enjoy Blitz's seventh birthday. I'm going now. I've said enough. Stay safe out there, have fun and be happy, because that's what it's all about! Having fun, being bloody happy!